Hello and welcome to the main cave. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I easily upgraded my Logitech Pro X with readily available mods that anyone can do. So this isn't particularly hard, but there are some things that I need to point out when going through this. So what am I doing then? Well, I'll be adding some better grips to the front side and the back of the Superlight, and I'll be replacing the skates for hopefully better feeling ones. For these two packs that I bought, I bought them both from a site from here in the UK called Esports Gear UK. You can find skates and grips on Amazon, but for me, the colours that I wanted, I got from this site and I will link down below. The only downside to doing this, it will add another 20-ish quid to the bottom line. And seeing as this mouse comes in at around 120 to 150 pounds, then it really is only up to you to see if you think it's worth it. So I went for the BT.L white and purple flattened edge mouse grip at £12. The colour for me is far better than the included black grip tape and being only a couple of grams heavy I wasn't really worried about adding any weight. There are other colours but I wanted predominantly white to be in keeping with the super light colour. In the pack comes two click grips, two side grips, a rear grip and two side button grips all of which are fitted in this video. As for the skates I went for the PTFE Tiger Gaming Ice Mouse Feet that came in at £8. They had good reviews and again were white so that was the main thing for me. You get everything you need, the front skate, the rear C-shaped skate, an extra plate skate and the sensor surround. So let's crack on with the mod. Firstly the skates as this requires just a little bit more work than the grips to do. You need to take off the old skates and most likely a layer or two of underneath. So turn the mouse over and then you'll see that between each skate there is a line that goes all around the skate and on two of them, there is a gap. So it makes sense to start here. The front and the rear skate have this gap, but the centerpiece nor the extra plate have these though. So with your nail or a medium sized flathead screwdriver, carefully peel off the skate. If like me, you're not too precious and won't be keeping the skate, you can just go for it and pull it off. If you want to keep these skates, then just take it easy. Then once off, have a look to, just to see if you are down to the plastic of the mouse. If not, there is another layer, which is a thin black membrane that need to be peeled off and maybe even another layer underneath that of a sticky see-through layer. The rear C-shaped skate had a black plastic membrane that I peeled off and then the further sticky label that I talked about earlier. All that came off to reveal the plastic underneath. The middle portion was straight down to the plastic and the extra plate had a black layer that I also needed to peel off. So once you're all off, the pack comes with a wet wipe to so just clean off any excess residue and sticky stuff and then leave it to dry. Once dry, you're good to attach the skates and this is really dead easy. There's no way you can get really mixed up as they are so unique in shape. And I started with the front skate, holding the sides, lining it up with the front of the mouse and then pressing it down. Once on, a few wipes over just to make sure it's fully stuck. Next, the rear C-shaped skate, and this fitted on like a dream. So again, I just lined up the two ends and placed them down and then fitted it towards the back of the mouse. Same goes for the centerpiece, place on top and press down, really easy, and the extra plate was no different. The only thing I'd suggest I'm watching out for is just take your time. I just don't think if it's on that it will easily come back off without ruining it. So just take your time, then once they're all on, give it a final wipe over and move, move on to the grip tape. As I said earlier, the grip tape is different to what you get actually included in the box. It's certainly thicker and you do get more pieces. As with the skates, just give your mouse a once over with the included wet wipe and wait for it to dry. I started with the clicks and I found it easiest to start from the inside of the mouse where the scroll wheel is, line that up and then lay it down, rubbing it towards the outer side of the mouse. Same for both sides, left and right. Next up is the side pieces. You can't mix these up as one has a gap for the side buttons. The way that I did this was just lining up the gap with the side buttons as a guide, place the tape on and then rubbing it down towards the bottom of the mouse, making a sure a nice fit around the curves. From here, in hindsight, I would have placed the rear grip tape as it would have mean I could line it up with the other side. But as it was, I went straight over to the other side pieces and fitted that first. This was easy as there's no guide for it, but unless you've done the rear piece, then then just line it up as place it on and make sure it's level with the underside of the mouse. So if you need to do now the rear piece, it wraps around the back. If you've done only one side, then line it up with that side and wrap it around the back. But like me, if you've done both sides first, just fit it as best you can. And fortunately for me, it did fit perfectly in between the two side pieces. I did however find that I had a lot of creases on the rear of the bottom piece. 
I think I could probably remove it, apply some heat and put it on again. But after some testing, I didn't actually feel these creases. So I was happy and left it as it is up to you. And then finally, the side buttons, these are specifically cut. So make sure you're getting the right one on the right button. Look for the curve that matches. So these are easy, place on and press down and make a nice seal. And then that's it, all done. New skates and new grips all done in around 10 minutes or so. If you do this, the best advice that I can give you is take your time and don't commit to fully sticking down until you are 100% sure you've got it lined up. Please let me know what you've gone for and if you've done any modifications to your Logitech Pro X Superlight. I'm definitely keen to hear what you've done to your mouse. That's all then, till the next video. Bye-bye.